All right, hello, what is up? So hopefully that part was helpful. And if it was, please leave a like for the algorithm. And also in the description, you can find a link which gives you the tabs both in Guitar Pro format and in PDF format, along with the settings for the amp and the pedal board. And for this part of the video, there are some things I'd like to elaborate on. Uh, not too many, but some things. So if you start with the verse, you know, uh, John does some variations uh, on the A5 chord, or at least I think of it as an A5 chord, but really he just picks individual notes. Um, uh, but these variations isn't too clear in the tab, so I like to clarify that now. But you know, the riff generally goes like this. So you know, you only play this note, the E note on the seventh fret of an A string, uh, one time, but sometimes he plays that two times, so. And sometimes he does a hammer on uh, like this to the sixth fret, so, and then a pull off, so uh, it becomes like this. And that is kind of random when he adds those, so I just wanted to clarify that. And uh, yeah, when it comes to uh, the chorus, I don't think the strumming pattern is too important. The important thing is to add a lot of energy to it. And one thing I realized I forgot was to kick in the MXR micro amp in, you know, that tab and play along part. But <laughs> I can do that now so you hear how it sounds. So now the micro amp is kicked in and then it sounds like this. <laughs> So now that really helps to add some contrast uh, from the verse part, which is kind of relatively clean compared to you know this chorus part. Uh, and then when it comes to the uh, outro, or whatever you want to call it, I guess the strumming pattern is more important. But also, <laughs> I think the strumming pattern is really clear or straightforward because all it really is is uh, down strums, you know. Uh, the only up strums really are, you know, when you do those muted down up strums, like that, you know. And then of course you have the G and the A. And there the strumming pattern is pretty much the same as in the chorus. Um, and yeah, that is actually everything I wanted to say in this video. So. Thank you very much for watching and again leave a like for the algorithm and also please let me know what you like to see in the future and I'll see you in the next one.